the streets of Jerusalem were teeming with excitement. It was the Passover festival. People had traveled miles to join the festivities. But this Passover was unlike any other. For Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah, was making his way into town, riding on a donkey, just as the prophet Zechariah had foretold. The crowds rang out to shouts of joy. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna's decade, following his triumphant entry, Jesus spent hours in the days to follow, teaching in the temple area, imparting lessons of faith and life to all who gathered. Though many listened and embraced his words, there were many who questioned his authority and his teachings. It was now the first day of unleavened bread, the day when it was customary to observe the Passover feast. Jesus sent Peter and John to a home to make preparation where he and his disciples would gather 
for this most cherished tradition. When the hour came, they gathered in an upper room and shared the sacred feast. Following the meal, Jesus said to his disciples, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I must suffer. I tell you, I will not eat it again until all of this finds fulfillment in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus continued by taking bread, breaking it, and giving it to his disciples. This is my body, broken for you. Take and eat it in remembrance of me. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. of a meal, Jesus shared with his disciples about the days to come and the challenges they would face. He foretold of how they, in fulfillment of the prophecies, would fall away even in spite of their declarations of steadfast faithfulness. He offered assurances, trust in God and trust in me. I am going to prepare a place for you but I will come back and take you to be with me. He promised them that God will give them a counselor in his fiscal absence, the Holy Spirit. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Following these intimate moments, they went to a place of solitude and prayer, Gethsemane. On this day when many were recalling the Passover experience which had been at the heart of Israel's exodus from Egypt, Jesus fully embraced God's plan for his life, a plan that would result in him becoming the sacrificial lamb for the redemption of the world.
quiet of this remote garden of prayer was shattered by the din of a loud and angry crowd. Led by Judas, one of the twelve, this mob comprised of chief priests, officers of the temple guard, elders and others who seized Jesus, taking him to Caiaphas, the high priest. There, Jesus was subjected to a trial filled with lies and mockery. Standing before the religious teachers and chief priests, false accusations abounded as they sought to, ways to put end to the prophet's influence. The misguided motives of these religious leaders ultimately resulted in the sentence that they sought. The crucifixion of this so-called Messiah, Jesus the Christ. This one who had come seven others in love had now been sentenced to death by a crowd filled with hate. The fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy had become a reality on this day. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. He was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed.
led to a place called Calvary, which means the place of the skull. Jesus was nailed to a cross and then placed between two criminals to bear the shame and agony of a public death. His accusers held insults at him, even in these his final hours. Come down from the cross if you are the son of God. He saved others, but he can't save himself. Let God rescue him if he wants him now. Even in these final moments, Jesus reflected on the prevailing characteristic of his life, love for others, as he prayed for his accusers. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He even offered forgiveness to one of the criminals who died alongside of him. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Finally, Jesus called out, it is finished, and then he died. said these words, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. His words were foretelling of this moment when he would be raised up on a cross to die for the sins of the world. As Jesus died, 
darkness came over the whole land. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split open. But the miracle of miracles was that skeptics in that moment became believers. Even a Roman centurion, an eyewitness at the cross observed, surely this was the Son of God. Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent member of the council, asked for permission to remove Jesus' body from the cross. Joseph bought some linen cloth, took down the body, wrapped and placed it in a tomb cut out of a rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends.
After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, and the angel of the Lord came from heaven. Going to the tomb, the angel rolled back a stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know you see Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead. Jesus is risen today. of Calvary shows just how far God is willing to go to reach the world with his love and it shows how far Jesus was willing to go for the redemption of all. Jesus made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and now sits at the right hand of the throne of God. This is the living God, the great I am, this is Jesus, the Holy Lamb of God. This is Calvary's love.
Hello, YouTube family, and thank you very much for watching. My name is Theophil Asamwajedu, and I'm the artistic director for Gramophone Ghana, and I'm also the conductor of the production you have just watched. I hope you've indeed been blessed. It would mean a lot to us if you liked and subscribed to our YouTube channel to get more content like this. You can also go ahead and click on the bell to receive notifications from us every now and then. God bless you and have a happy Easter.